Hello and welcome to this session. This is Professor Farhat. In this session, we would look at the report from the independent auditor for SOC 1, SOC 2, Type 1, Type 2. Now, in this session, I'm going to be covering only one report. And I'm not going to tell you which report. We're going to figure it out as we go along. The reason I say this <laughs> is to let you know that if you can follow with me throughout this report, then you understand the basics of SOC 1, SOC 2, Type 1, Type 2. Because a report is a summary of everything that you need to know about these topics, with few exceptions here and there. For example, we're not going to touch the carve out or the inclusive method. Otherwise, everything you need to know about SOC 1 and SOC 2, Type 1, Type 2, it's summarized in this report. Now, but but you might be asking yourself, Professor Farhad, didn't we look at the system description, the assertion? You know, it doesn't have to be with an asset, it should be just assertion called assertion. Yes, we looked at the description, we looked at the assertion. Those are technically part of the independent report. They might be attached to it or there might be additional explanation, but the report itself is the final product, is what we basically deliver to the to the client to the customer the report itself and this is similar to financial statements report at the end of an audit at the end of an attestation engagement we issue a report and this is the report we're going to be looking at today but for a SOC engagement let's go ahead and get started before we proceed any further i have a public announcement about my company farhatlectures.com Farhat Accounting Lectures is a supplemental educational tool that's going to help you with your CPA exam preparation as well as your accounting courses. My CPA material is aligned with your CPA review course such as Becker, Roger, Wiley, Gleam, Miles. My accounting courses are aligned with your accounting courses broken down by chapter and topics. My resources consist of lectures, multiple choice questions, true-false questions, as well as exercises. Go ahead, start your free trial today. Well, starting with the title. In the title, we'll mention the word independent. So notice, independent service auditors report on KLM service organization's description of its, whatever we are describing, system and the suitability of design of controls. So, is this a type one or a type two? Before we even proceed any further, I would say this is a type one. How did I know it's type one from the title because it does not discuss the operating effectiveness of the controls. It's dealing with the description and the suitability of the design. So in the in the in the title we have we have to have the word independent because this is an attestation engagement. In an attestation engagement the auditor will need to be independent from the client which is the service organization. So the service auditor is independent. Now the first paragraph is we're going to be discussing the scope of the audit. So basically, what are we doing? What's the scope of the audit? Well, we as the auditor have examined, notice we conducted an examination of the KLM service organization's description of its, whatever we are describing here, KLM service organization's description of its also type of name system for processing users entity transaction or identification of the function performed by the system, if that's what we're doing, as of date, specific date. Again, type one will tell us this is a specific date. And there's a description. The description is separately. And this is what we are looking at. We examine the description. And the suitability of the design of the controls included in the description to achieve the related controls ob control objectives stated in the description based on the criteria identified in the KLM service organization assertion, which is stated in the assertion. So we're looking at the description, we're looking at the, what the company stated in their assertion, and we talked about the description and the assertion in a separate recording. The controls and the control objectives included in the description are those of management. Here we have to let you know that the description and the assertion are provided to us by management. To us means to us the auditors. Now here's the auditor communicating. So the description are, are those that management of KLM service organization believe are likely to be relevant to user entities internal control over financial reporting. So we're looking at a SOC. Now we know it's a SOC 1. Why SOC 1? Because it's internal control over financial reporting. So we're looking at a SOC 1 type 1 report. And who knows, maybe on the CPA exam, 
information systems and controls they might give you a report and tells you select for example what type of a report is this looking at the report this could be a simulation it could have exhibits don't let the exhibit scares you as I, as, I, as I always say the more exhibits the easier is the simulation but that could be a question now if the description does not include certain things and the and the aspect of the internal control over financial reporting we usually state that that they are not included because they're not likely to be relevant to the user's entity internal control over financial reporting. Then after the scope, we talk about the service organization responsibility. So what's the service organization responsi responsibility in whatever section, you know, section five, where the assertion is presented. I just made up this number in the assertion section. KLM service organization has provided an assertion about the fairness of the presentation of the description and the suitability of the design of the controls to achieve the related control objective stated in the description. So again, the service organization provide this. KLM service organization is responsible for preparing the description and the assertion, including the completeness, accuracy, and method of presentation of the description and assertion provided providing the services covered by the description, specifying the control objectives and stating them in the description, identifying the risks that threaten these, the achievement of the control objective, selecting the criteria that's stated in the assertion and designing, implementing and documenting controls that are suitably designed and operated effectively to achieve the related control objective stated in the description. All of this basically state KLM service organization, the, 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 the service organization is responsible for the description, the assertions, anything that's mentioned about risks, how they mitigate risk, design the controls. That's all the responsibility of management. And we discussed this earlier in the prior session in the scope. They always tell you because that's important because we need to know that the description and the assertion is the responsibility of the management. Management gives it to us gives us the assertion and the description. Now, what is our job as the service auditor? Our responsibility as the auditor, service auditor responsibility, express an opinion. Well, yeah, it's an engagement and it's an attestation engagement. We are going to express an opinion on the fairness of the presentation of what? What they presented, the description and the suitability of the design of the control to achieve the related control objective stated in the description based on our examination. So we're going to conduct an examination and express an opinion. Now we'll talk about the examination. Our examination was conducted in, in accordance with, it's an attestation standard. SOC is an attestation standard established by the AICPA, the American Institute of Certified Public Accountant. Those standards require that we plan and perform the examination to obtain reasonable assurance about whether, in all material respect, based on the criteria and the management's assertion, the description is fairly presented and the control were suitably designed to achieve the related controls, control objectives stated in the description as of particular date, type 1, type 1 report. We believe that the evidence we obtained is sufficient and appropriate to provide a reasonable basis of our, for our opinion. Again, what are we saying here? We are telling, telling the users of this report our responsibility is to express an opinion on this, the, this, on the description and the suitability of the design of the control that was provided to us by the client, by the service organization. We followed the guidance, the attestation standard, the, the guidance that we followed that are issued, established by the AI CPA, and we collected evidence, and that evidence is sufficient and appropriate. Also, we emphasize on what's an examination. An examination of the description of a service organization system and the suitability of the control involves, now these are not a list, this is not a comprehensive list, performing procedure to obtain evidence about the fairness of the presentation, assessing the risk that the description is not fairly presented, that the control were not suitably designed to achieve the control objectives, evaluating the overall presentation of the description, suitability of the control objectives stated in the description and the suitability of the criteria specified by the service organization and its Assertion. Again, here we're not looking at the operating effectiveness. We're looking at a type one type of deal. So this is all tells you it's a type of type type one SOC one type one. Then we have to have a paragraph about inherent limitation. We have to let everyone know that there's always inherent limitation in any 
internal control or any control system. The description is prepared to meet the common needs of a broad range of users, entity, and or auditors who audit and report on the user's entity financial statement and may not include every aspect of the system that each individual user entity may consider important in its own particular environment. What we are saying is this, we cannot cover everything. That's the first, you need, the first thing you need to know because this service organization might have many user entity. So in other words, they provide services for more than one company and our control may not cover every single control that affect those user entity because of their nature, controls at the service organization may not prevent or detect and correct all in statement and processing or reporting transaction. So we just want to let you know this is a limitation or identification of the function performed by the system if this, this is what we are doing. Also, the projection of to the future of any evaluation of the fairness of the presentation of the description or the conclusion about the suitability of the control to achieve the related control objective is subject to the risk that controls at service organization may become ineffective. Whatever we tell you now, this is what we know now. We cannot predict what's going to happen about these controls, about their description and their suitability of design in the future. That's another limitation. So we may not cover every single thing, every aspect of the control that's relevant to every user entity of that service organization. And we cannot project what's going to happen to these controls in the future. And we can never proje project the future for anything. Then we would have another other matter paragraph here. Why is this important? Here we want to spell out explicit, explicitly state we did not perform any procedures regarding the operating effectiveness, which is type two stated in the description and accordingly we do not ex express an opinion so this is we're telling you this is not a type two this is a SOC one type one not type two because in type two what do we do we express an opinion about the operating effectiveness then we have our opinion in our opinion in all material respect based on the criteria described the description fairly present the system that was designed and implemented as of Specific date, the controls related to the controls objective stated in the description were suitably designed to provide reasonable assurance that the control objectives would be achieved if the control operated effectively as of, again, a particular date, SOC 1, type 1. That's the opinion. Also, we have to restrict this report. This report is intended for usually three parties. Who are they? Management of the KLM service organization. Obviously, they hire us as auditors. We're going to give them a report, right? The user entities of the KLM service organization. And notice it could be many entities, but this is a group. And the auditors of those users' entities. So we have three groups. KLM service organization management, the user entity of KRM, and the, and the auditors of those users' entity. So who, who audit their financial statements. And, and okay, who audit their financial statement or internal control or financial reporting and have a sufficient understanding to consider it. So we assume here the people that we are given it to, they are knowledgeable enough, along with other information, including information about controls implemented by user entities themselves when assessing the risk of material misstatements of users' entity financial statements. So whoever we gave it to, they can look at this information, understand it, and they can use it to assess the internal control over financial reporting at the user's entity. So this report is not intended to be used and should not be used by anyone other than the specified parties, the specified three groups that we mentioned earlier. Then the service auditor signature, the service auditor city and state and date of the service auditor's report. So what do you need to know about this report? It's a type one, SOC one type one report. It's about internal control over financial reporting, passing a judgment and opinion about the fair presentation of the description of the internal control over financial reporting and the suitability of the design, period. Once again, on the CPA exam, information systems and control, they might do what? They might give you a report and they might say, you know, maybe select what type of a report is this. Well, I hope you know how to do this. Or if you were able to follow everything that I mentioned in this report is what we studied up to this point. Guess what? In the next session, we would look at SOC 2, type 2. What should you do now? You want to go to Farhat Lectures, look at MCQs, additional resources that's going to help you if you're studying for the CPA exam. Invest in yourself. Good luck. The CPA exam is worth it and stay safe.